Podcast. Joseph YouTube, you welcome to the Coffee Pod. My name is Chishi Zed. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. All right, guys, this video is titled, I Got Left While On a Date. Again, I got left while on a date. Here's what I would like from you. Have you ever just dipped on a date? And if you did, share your story down below, man. How did it go? Have you ever just dipped on a date? Let me know. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Y'all, so this is a quick little story time because I'm still baffled. I had to sleep on it a little, little bit before I come on here and tell y'all about it. But let's hear it. Let's get into it. So I went on this date, right? Mm -hmm. Went on a date. Normally, dating within my age group, a lot of men don't do dates. So y'all ought to know that this guy was a little bit older. He wasn't too much older than me. He's like maybe a little bit under 10 years older than me, around about eight, about seven, eight, maybe nine years older than me. Either way go, he was a nice, handsome guy. He was sweet, and he asked me out on a date. So I said yes. So okay. we ended up going on a date. Okay. So, y'all, as we are on this date, we get to talking about dogs. I don't know how the conversation led to us talking about animals, but All he right. ended up showing me a picture of his dog, right? I personally don't have a dog, but I live with one. My sister has a dog. And so I was talking about my dog nephew, the book. So, yeah, he called, he was telling me about his dog. So keep in mind, y'all, I'm drinking wine at the table. Oh, okay. As I'm drinking wine, y'all, I'm... I'm already trying to figure out where this story is going. Getting tipsy. Every sip I take, I'm getting more and more tipsy. Tell okay. me, y'all. Lightweight. We still talking about dogs at the table. As right. I'm getting tipsy, my intrusive thoughts won, y'all. Oh, my God. Don't judge me. I don't want to hear it. Don't judge me. So, y'all, my you, intrusive thought... You will be judged. <laughs> ...was to bark at the table like a goddamn dog, and that's what I did. And I didn't, I didn't do just no any bark. I didn't do, like, no... What? Little, eh, eh. I did a... Whoo! At the table. Oh, hell no. So, y'all, I'm sitting at the table flabbergasted. <laughs> Meanwhile, my date is like, the fuck? <laughs> y'all, tell me why. He just went, hell no, hell no, oh, hell no, hell no. I'm over here confused because I'm like, I know I just had an outburst or whatever, but why he just going, hell no, hell no, and not saying that? Right. Like, why you just keep on just saying, hell no, like, I apologize. I'm over here trying to explain myself. I apologize for my outburst, but why are you saying hell no, sir? <laughs> y'all, tell me why. Mm -hmm. He said, I'm glad you had the outburst. I know a nickel's voice when I hear it. <laughs> y'all. <laughs> <laughs> y'all, I immediately went, no, no, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. I'm still trying to explain to him. I'm like, no, sir. I'm not a dude, sir. Wait, wait, wait. Y'all, when I say that man was not trying to hear it at all, he was not trying to hear nothing I was trying to say. He was not trying to hear me out whatsoever. <laughs> so, y'all, I'm over here still trying to explain myself. I done offered to show him my ID. I done offered to show him a baby picture of wow. me. He still was not like, no. Nah. He was like, no. <laughs> so, moral of the story, ladies, if you go on a date, Make sure you are in your feminine era, <laughs> okay? Era. Because any indication of masculinity, they're going to swear up and down you're a transgender. <sighs> you see, you can't, you just can't play around like that today. You can't joke around like that today. Today's a dangerous day and age for a man to be out here online dating. You know, the, the, the cosmetic surgeries are getting crazy. You can't. Any man's rule really should be if you even have to ask whether she's a man or a woman, then it's just best to walk away. You can't be out here joking like this because there are people like this. This video I recently released, check it out. Transgender woman says if she met a man at a bar, pay attention. She would wait two dates to reveal she's trans. What do you think about that? Let's check it out. I hate the burden of having to talk about my transness on the first or even the second date. Wow. 
you would let me take you out twice. Well, this and is not ideal. Say, right. And not say, just so you know. If we met out and about, yeah, if, I'm more likely to to hold off longer. Now, online, if I'm like on an app or something, I put it in my profiles. Like, I don't play that game. No, but I met you at, if I met you at a bar, restaurant, whatever, Raquel, so beautiful, can I take you out? Sure. It varies, but I'm not going to be like, can you take me out? Sure. Oh, by the way, I'm trans. Why not? Like, I might do that, but I don't feel obligated to do that all the time. It's interesting that you say you don't feel obligated. I hate the bar. I'm curious to actually check out the rest of that video. Um, I might do that. If you guys want me to do like a, a whole reaction to that whole video, comment down below. So the way that the guest is describing that if a man was to approach and ask for a date, the guest saying that she wouldn't tell that man that she's a biological man sounds like something that that's happened many times before. This sounds like this is the routine. Is that there's no conversation that's ever had of, oh, by the way, you should know, I'm a biological man and I'm actually trans. All right, so that was that. We're not going to read those. If you, want to, if you want to go watch that video, go check out I Don't Tell Men I'm Trans Until the Third Date. It's on my channel. We're going to read what we're going to read are the comments from the first video I played. First comment here says, seems like he had a situation before and you triggered a flashback. The laughing emojis, he said, hell no, not again, LOL. She responded back and says, right? I mean, that has to happen, bro. Let's keep it real. That has to happen. And she says he was older. Depending on how, how much older he is, maybe he's not that used to online dating. He's believing everything he sees. Somebody else who says deep bark when I'm trying to end a date early. So she's taking notes. Here's somebody else who added, he thought you was a frat brother with the laugh emojis. Here's another woman who says, this is not what I expected with the laugh emojis. She responded back, the actual content creator. She says, I wasn't either. And it's abundantly clear he was shook. He definitely was thrown off. Here's somebody else who says, if he can't handle a little personality, he got to go. No, 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 no. You letting your intrusive thoughts win? You gotta fight that. You gotta fight that. Somebody else here says, nah, for real, this the one. Here's another person who says, I would have paid money to see this in person. Somebody else here added, I thought this story was gonna be about him leaving you to pay the check, not barking at the table. That's somebody who just can't, you just don't need to be drinking like that. Put the drink down. Somebody else who says, you embarrassed him. She responded and says, him? He didn't care about being embarrassed. I embarrassed myself on accident. You, you, you barked like a dog. <laughs> Sounded like a straight dude. Here's another person who says, friend, go on and just drink some water. With laughing emojis. She responded and says, F that, where's the Don Julio? Nah, uh, you need to chill. You need to chill. You need to chill. Here's another person who says, not you keep calling the man, sir. The laughing emoji, she responded back and says, yes, I immediately got formal as hell. Here's another chick who says, I didn't expect this story to be as funny as it was. LMAO barking, sis. That's crazy. Here's another person who says, it's the caption for me when you was the bad date. With the laughing emoji. Yeah, she's the problem. She's the problem. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think. Of course, I appreciate you for checking out another episode of The Coffee Pot. Till next time, bye. Peace. Thank you.